just ran into Robert in LVA. Today's vlog is gonna be about PEM. PEM, what is it? PEM stands for Physical Environmental Monitor or Physical Environment Monitors, Physical Environmental Monitors. To summarize, the system is composed of various types of monitors such as microphones, accelerometer that are installed throughout the VEAs. Now, wherever the GW wave goes in the instrument, PEA monitors are there. So if you know about LIGO, you know we are so goddamn sensitive. We detect the gravitational wave is less than the width of a human hair. A truck running on the highway would show up on our data when we are in observing mode. Even a crow peeking on a beam tube will show up on the data. When we see strange signals in a gravitational wave channel, these sensors could tell us where it could have come from. But to do that, we need to understand how susceptible the detector is to various kinds of noise and motions. For instance, Robert was just blasting a sound just to understand how it couples to our data. This is what we call an injection because we injected noise in the data intentionally. Understanding how much outside noise and motions can the detector tolerate before it's starting to show up in the gravitational wave data dictates what people can do and cannot do at the site during the observing run. So if you, if you look here, um, red is while I was making that noise, blue is when I wasn't making that noise, and so I increased the acoustic background by a factor of almost 100, about 100, and it increased DARM in this region by a factor of 5. That means that we are aren't that close to being limited by acoustics in this area around here. During observing runs, all activities around the site that have potentials of making noise or motion that could show up in the data has to be reported to the operator on the shift, who will write down the exact time of these activities. And if there are weird noise in the data, PM sensors allow data analysis to correlate noise with given time of the activities. If there's anything you're interested in hearing from the LIGO site, let me know in the comment. And if I could, I will try to make a video to answer your question. Yeah.